we're making keto almond berry nougat they are so good let's go So many keto nougat recipes here on YouTube and on the internet. This one is a little different in that it has an almond flavor and it's full of dried unsweetened berries. And we achieve 0.5 net carbs per bar. Hi, I'm Mel and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please feel free to take a look around at our other recipes. And if you love what you see, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I post a new recipe. Of course, we are doing a basic nougat recipe and I use just two egg whites and sweetener. And after we make the basic nougat recipe, the rest is a variable. I use almonds, pistachio nuts, goji berries, blueberries and cranberries. <laughs> I had a taste of them and they are just beautiful. I hope you get to try it. Let's get into the recipe now. For this recipe, preparation and your setup is key. So first, grease and line a fridge safe container and it can be glass or plastic or even a baking dish like I'm using. It should be medium sized so your bars aren't too thin. I also have paper to go over the bars so I can smooth out the bars easily. Let's prepare the nuts and berries. I'm using 95 grams of almonds with the skin on and 75 grams of pistachios and for the berries, two tablespoons each of dried unsweetened blueberries, the same amount of dried unsweetened goji and cranberries. And that should equate to about half a cup of berries. Add the nuts and dried berries to a bowl, give it a mix and set aside. Time to melt the sweetener and to start off, don't turn your burner or heat on just yet. I'm using a non-stick pot or pan and added 420 grams of sweetener to the pan. And here you see I've got my mixer and my pan ready to go and my nuts and berries are ready. To the mixing bowl add two egg whites at room temperature, a teaspoon of almond extract and a pinch of cream of tartar and I'm adding my whisk attachment and of course you can also use a hand machine to whisk just make sure your bowl is deep. Turn your burners on now to medium low and melt the sweetener slowly and you will see me stir it occasionally and while I'm doing that I just want to say if you don't have a non-stick pan and use stainless steel instead you might have your sweetener crystallized at the edges. To fix that, you can drizzle water along the sides of the pot, but also on this level of heat, it might not even be an issue. Okay, when your sweetener is fully liquidized and starts bubbling, start whisking the egg whites. Then drizzle the liquid sweetener down the side of the bowl with the egg whites. And you can see here, I'm not rushing it. Soon as the liquid is all in, turn off the mixer and here is my consistency. Like soft peaks, which is perfect. Add the nuts and berries and mix it in. I wouldn't even use a machine for this part because then you're going to risk over beating the nougat. So please do use a large spoon instead. My machine went only literally for a few seconds. I added powdered sweetener first to the pan to help with the nougat sticking to the paper. I've seen some recipes use oat fiber, but please don't use oat fiber. It's just gonna make your nougat bitter. Add the entire nougat mixture now and smooth it out, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Then I added more powdered sweetener to help with stickiness again, then paper on top, and smooth it out as best as I could. Please don't refrigerate it just yet because it's still really hot. Let it cool down first and then you can place it in the fridge and in that way you're practicing good food safety. After about an hour in the fridge, it's ready. See how easy my paper comes off the nougat. Cut it up into 16 pieces and if you have some breakage, just smooth the two pieces together. It works really well. Do store it in the fridge for about five days or you can freeze them. Excuse 
excuse me, I was just munching on my beautiful nougat and I hope you saw how simple it is to make and it's only 0.5 net carbs. Well, do let me know if you make it and what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well.